So hi, uh, my name is uh, Moshe Moran and I'm VP Sales for North America for a lot. Um, I'm very excited to be uh, in, in the DISH uh, building today, um, you know, talking with, um, um, the head, with Jeremy Capel, the head of wireless security at DISH uh, Network. Um, DISH, I think, is today one of the most exciting journeys that any company is, uh, is taking, a very, very innovative uh, environment. And again, I'm very, very excited to be here. Um, so Jeremy, tell me more about your, um, um, your um, uh, current activities at DISH. Excellent, thank you. So at DISH, we're building a fully virtualized, standalone 5G network, which is built upon a multi-cloud environment and the open RAN architecture and technology. And to my knowledge, DISH is the only organization in the United States that's committed to the open RAN architecture. Now, when I like to differentiate between traditional legacy networks and the revolutionary standalone 5G networks that we're building, I like to use an analogy of a motorized vehicle versus an electronic vehicle. Uh, the parts are just fundamentally different. You're not going to find a fuel injector in an electronic vehicle. And the way that things work differently and the way that the architecture is designed differently allows us to innovate in a way that legacy carriers just simply cannot do. And in turn allows us to pass on that innovation to our customers, allowing them to be successful in a 5G era. Um, DISH is just about to revolutionize the wireless industry in the same way that AWS did to the data center industry. And as you know, DISH has been there before. We have revolutionized the satellite TV industry. Thank you. Um, so, no, very interesting and again, a very, very intriguing journey that, uh, that uh, you're taking. Um, I believe that um, um, you wrote um, a very, very innovative uh, white paper uh, for, um, uh, for the 5G. I think it's very, very intriguing and a must read for, for everyone from my perspective. Um, what, what, as part of it, you're talking about your commitment into the 5G um, you know, industry and, and basically uh, um, being the leader, I think, in, in uh, the innovation for that industry. Can you share basically what is special about the t dish 5G commitment to, uh, to security? Certainly, and I think, really good question, and I too encourage you or anyone else to uh, follow through and actually read the white paper. Uh, but I'll give you a little synopsis. From my perspective, we've reached a point in time where, let's call it luckily, that two fundamental technologies, one being cloud architecture, as well as uh, service-based architecture in 5G, have matured to the point where the augmentation of these two technologies allows us to provide um, and build a network that is more secure than, it, than has ever been possible in the past before. When I talk about the concept of security within future designs of 5G network architecture, we like to speak about three key concepts. The first one being visibility. Now, as Mark Ruan, our chief network officer, has said in the past, it's only when you are able to turn on the lights are you then able to see the cockroaches flee. And with us building a fully software-defined 5G architecture, we're able to literally see into all of the nooks and crannies and identify where the critters that are causing the problems are coming from. Um, the second concept that we like to speak about is orchestration. If we take that visibility and you layer on top of that um, analytics in, and artificial intelligence and machine learning, you are able to orchestrate the response to security instantaneously and automatically, thereby being able to resolve instances of security breaches across our network simultaneously. The third concept that we like to speak about is control. And specifically when we're talking about control, what we like to talk about is giving that control back to the customer. Now, that doesn't matter if it's a retail consumer that's worried about their child surfing the internet and going to bad internet sites, or if that's an enterprise client trying to absorb the analytics and insight from the network and even having the ability to adjust and manipulate the security posture within what we would call their own virtual slice. To explain the concepts of slicing, because it's fundamental to the architecture of 5G, which you need to imagine the radio tower on the side of a street 
every single thing after that tower is virtualized. Now that includes the radio access network that distributes the signal, the core network functions that operate the network and allow you to do things like uh, send a text or make a call, and the supporting business functions. And what we're able to do now is package all of those within an enterprise slice uh, with their own core network functions and their own radio access network functions. And in essence, providing an enterprise with their own 5G network. What this basically does, it allows us to uh, look at Industry 4.0 use cases, things such as autonomous vehicle driving, um, drone deployment, or remote uh, robotics for dangerous working circumstances, and remote, in, let's say, healthcare procedures uh, for individuals in remote areas of the world. Now, from a security perspective, what this basically means is we have advanced security because we're not on a shared platform or a shared infrastructure and you're in your own isolated slice. So what that does, it gives you the ability to prevent things like man in the middle of attacks, or eavesdropping, or even denial of service attacks on the actual slice of the core network infrastructure. Thank you. And again, it sounds really, really uh, exciting and I can't wait for the different applications and the different innovations that will be coming out of uh, uh, the 5G environment. Now we all know that security is something that is very, very important in the uh, 5G uh, environment and um, I think it's one of the pillars and I think it will be a great differentiator for any um, uh, carrier and for any company. Uh, can you share more about who is DISH partnering with to secure? Perfect. Um, at DISH we've got a multi-vendor uh, layered zero trust security model that is advanced through community driven hardening projects. Um, we start with a core set of service providers, obviously with the lot being one of the foundational partners, but also partners such as Palo Alto, Nokia, AWS. In addition, we are expanding that ecosystem on an ongoing basis. And from an enterprise perspective, DISH has a number of enterprise security solutions that we leverage horizontally across our organization. The, the last concept is fundamentally security by design. And what we mean by that is any network function, whether it's virtualized, containerized, going into our core infrastructure, undergoes significant and rigorous testing from a security perspective. And we ensure that any function in our entire network has security built into it by design. Uh, now I can tell you that a lot is privileged and really, really excited to be part of the uh, uh, this journey uh, into 5G, into 5G security. But can you share a little more about why did this select a lot to be part of, of this journey? Certainly. Thank you. So, when looking for partners, DISH is specifically looking for, um, let's say, innovative, future forward thinking security partners that are best in breed, but ones that have invested significantly in designs for 5G and beyond. Now, that's one side of the coin. The, the, the next one, which predominantly is actually more important, is cultural fit. We're not looking for vendors that come and throw a roadmap at us and say, this is what you're going to deal with, go follow it. Instead, we need to be able to push each other and design solutions together and solve problems that are yet to come to fruition. Now, a lot certainly went through an extensive evaluation, both from a technical arm as well as from a cultural fit perspective and came out the clear leader in their segment. I think, personally, um, I believe a lot is extremely unique in the concept of being able to provide end-to-end -end, uh, user plane protection across the user plane and in the same time providing security as a service which we can pass back on to our customers as a benefit. A, another key value asset that I believe from a lot's perspective is uh, the ability to do deep packet inspection with a supporting analytics engine. Now that analytics engine will give us deep insights about security and the events on the network, but further to that, it will give us insights about trends around our network that just simply, again, are not possible in any of the existing legacy carrier networks. Um, thank you. So thank you, Jeremy. I really appreciate um, uh, the discussion, the very interesting points that you brought up, and I'm very much looking forward to this dish becoming a, a live uh, vendor and a, a live carrier and to basically uh, uh, see the, the evolution, the revolution that you are building in the network today. Thank you, Marshall. We appreciate the, your time today and we appreciate the partnership. Thank you. Same here.